Hey everyone, Lou here. Welcome to Deciphered, the podcast where we take uh, cryptic topics and make them understandable for all. Uh, it's been a while since I did one of these. I just had various projects and, um, well, life in general got in the way. But, you know, I figure um, uh, now's the time maybe to, you know, steamroll some new ideas and new um, topics of discussion and, uh, you know, chat about them a little bit. This one in particular is about life of leisure. I'm sure you all heard the expression before. He's living the life of leisure. What does that mean? What is leisure? Well, without searching through a dictionary and getting some scientific uh, explanation for it, um, I'm just going to... my uh, opinion on what it is. Uh, just, you know, living the high life. Maybe not so high. Maybe, you know, more easy, I guess. Easy going. Um, you know, relaxing on a hammock. Uh, in front of a beach, maybe in your room playing video games. Maybe that's a life of leisure. I don't know, you know, or spending time with your family. It's really up to the individual. Now, uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 years ago, being, you know, having a leisure kind of life was probably way different than what it is today. See, today, to live a life of leisure, to, you know, uh, well, what's the other saying? You know, to have your cake and eat it too, you have to be rich or a person with money. I mean, sure, you could, you know, enjoy everything around you, but, you know, I, you know, sometimes it's not enough for selected people. Other people is completely fine. I mean, you know, um, people tell me all the time, you know, be happy with what you have. And, uh, you know, that's the truth. Because it seems trying to achieve anything else beyond your means, you know, you're headed for a migraine of a headache. Pretty much. So, I mean, I can't stress enough how truthful it is when enjoy what you have, what you own, and your leisure, what makes you happy. You know, uh, I learned the hard way over a course of uh, a couple of years that, um, you know, you can't always get what you want, but you can get what you need. And I think that's, you know, in itself uh, the right way to go. Now, sometimes that's just not enough for people. You know, their life of leisure is to live life on the edge and just keep going. You know, sure, you have, you know, ambitious people who do ambitious things. But you know who else are ambitious? Rapists. Just kidding. Um, that was my poor attempt at humor. Now, I'm just saying, listen, you know, if you want to strive uh, for the goal, uh, be up top, you know, the... Uh, supreme being or whatever it is that you know gets you where you're going quick more power to you sure fine but you know you have to understand that not everyone has the ability or the needs to you know achieve great things sure in theory it's thinkable and probably doable but with that come sacrifices now these things come normal for people that have money because they have you know um you know cash to burn or you know Maybe a unlimited supply of friends that pat them on the back and say, you failed, but keep trying. Good job. And that's great. But like I said, once again, not everyone has the needs of achieving greatness. They have the needs of achieve, achieving what they need. That's it. You know, you, you get my point here. Um, so, yeah, what I'm really trying to say is living the life of leisure is that in itself is, you know, just enjoying what's around you relaxing, um, not, don't get this confused with being lazy, you know, sitting on your butt all day, you know, playing video games while the wor world passes around you, yeah, that's, that doesn't seem like you're accomplishing a lot, you know, maybe you're comfortable, but there's other shit that you could do out there, but, um, um, no, like I said, uh, you know, like, like, you know, you hear people say, you know, one person's trash is another person's treasure, you know, it just, it's just how it is, no one is equal in that sense. I'm not saying, you know, this person is better for, you know, achieving these goals because they have the means and this person didn't work hard enough. No, I'm not going to discredit anyone uh, for anything of what they got so far. If you got something that's gold, works for you, and necessarily might not work for the person around you. And these are just things, you know, people have to accept, I think, you know, as, uh, as they get older. You know, some people find it uh, maddening and frustrating well, how come this person can't reach us? Huh? You know, he's doing the same thing I'm doing, and just something, there's a missing link. No, 
it may be because he doesn't want to do that, or maybe he just had enough, you know? Some people's psyche and stress are not, you know, equal to the person next to you, you know? But that doesn't take away anything. They have different traits that they, they get applied to that makes them, you know, comfortable of what they're doing. They don't stress over it. They don't lose sleep over it. That's their life of leisure. As opposed to another person. Another person might like going on, you know, you know, a yacht trip or a boating uh, trip. You know, some kind of fancy, you know, way of life. And then, or, you know, some people, uh, you know, work eight hours a day. Come home to a madhouse or whatever. And then all they want to do after that is just sit in front of the TV, watch the game, play their video games, or listen to music. That's their life of leisure. You see what I'm saying? No matter what the circumstance, no matter what you have, leisure isn't something you could obtain with money or, you know, working towards. I mean, it can be, but like I said, it's work. You have to work for it. Leisure should be something you already have and can relax and say, yeah, you know, today sucked, but at least I have this to look up to. That is what leisure is. Just, you know, after a long, hard day of work or, you know, completing some complicated task and if your relief is, you know, tackling the next, you know, impossible task or just sitting back, cracking open beer and saying, yeah, I did that. Or, yeah, you know what? I deserve this. That is the life of leisure. When you can look back and say, I don't have to worry about this. I did it. Or I feel comfortable where I'm at. That is leisure. Now imagine this. It's just a scenario. It may or may not happen. Who knows? I'm just painting a picture here. Suppose you work really hard, do everything you got to do, and you fail it as whatever you were trying to achieve. It could be heartbreaking. And uh, damn near break your spirit. But, you know, is it rewarding? Maybe after all the, you know, smoke is cleared to just, you know, tell yourself, I tried. I did my best, and I'm just going to, um, you know, relax, maybe take everything in. Could I leisurely blow off something I've been trying to accomplish and not quite getting there, you know? Do you take a step back and, you know, lick your wounds and collect yourself before moving on and tackling it again? Or what, you know? Once again, this is something for, you know, said individual, you know. Either going to be an overachiever, achieve just enough. The bottom line is, it's whatever you want to do. Don't ever let someone pressure you into doing the unthinkable. You know your means, you know how your body works, and you know your mentality. It's always good to press yourself and maybe, you know, take that extra step. But also, if you want to, you know, a lot of people lose themselves by, you know, killing their bodies over and over again, putting themselves through these trials and errors, you know. Sometimes there's a huge payoff, and that's more satisfying than anything in the world. But then there's utter defeat, which it's hard to come back from. So you have to weigh the balance there. A life of leisure should be this. Just taking it easy, uh, one step at a time, work hard, achieve hard, and in the end, if you want to have that beer or relax in front of that television, then do it. You earned it. Leisure is the mother of philosophy. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to my uh, brief podcast here about living a life of leisure and everything in between. Remember, guys, don't take life too seriously or, you know, anything that would, um, you know, just uh, bring you down to a never-ending downward spiral. There's a lot more to life than sweating the small stuff, as they say. Until next time, take care.